Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And, and Atari cats. The best Atari cats. Oh, yes. Oh, he loves this sweater. <clears throat> I know. I don't know why he just it's buries stinky. his face in it. <laughs> He's like, oh, so good. Yeah. I love this sweater. <laughs> Today, we have an exclusive world premiere <laughs> of a new cartridge that is being released Cart. tomorrow Ooh. for the Atari 7800. Excellent. Let's put this up. There we go. Oh, you it did. is called the Falling Leaves Collection. Mm -hmm. And it contains eight games on it for nice. the Atari 7800, including uh, Easter, Pack Nestor, Star Wars 7800, Drunk Witch, Adventureland, Pirate's Cro Cove, Merlain, E-Jag Fest, and Election Breakout. So eight games that we're going to be checking out today. Uh, but first, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who help support the show that are scrolling Ooh, right down, down there. Thank you. Uh, 8 Pipo, down the Fur Andrew, thank Atari, Arms Car Coder, Atari, 1974, Atari, Atari's Maximus, Bia Proca, Bruno Stex, Captain Class, and Chelsea Donnell, Charles Will and Shitlow, Cubanism was Cyrano Dribo Dianoid, Dale Lancer Darling, Dan, ABC Dave, M. DJ Lemon Fresh, DMC Drexel, Dr. Mook House, Eric Carr, Gamma Dev, Great Defender Ground Trooper, JG, Johnny WC, Kabuto Coda, Carl G, Karakak, Croc, Karakak is the uh, person of the hour tonight. Oh, nice. Uh, he uh, helped put this together. Yay! And uh, sent it over to me. Croco, 2600, Veltifer, Lambda Express, Mandy Sipatine, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mike Muse, Mike Sol, Mike Catal, MK Smith, Mr. Vix, Money Funster, Nostalgia, Coag, Rando, R70, Rando Ghost, Printless, VG, Revan Tuli, Card of Him, a Smitty B, Spiceware, Spinley, D Train, Tiki Dan, KT, Fos, Tram, D Tweeny, VVG, Double It Down, and X, Ken X. And if you want to subscribe, <laughs> you can hit subscribe and you'll be subscribed. Yes. Um, and these cats will get fed more treats. Oh, more treats. I've got so many cats today. Or you can just just follow us Hi. um and thank you tm events for subscribing mm -hmm. thank you so much um apologies to carrie uh because they are in germany oh for the ejag fest oh. and they have stayed up uh, thank you so much till now <laughs> it's late 2 30 in the morning oh my goodness uh waiting for the show oh my so goodness. i don't know if they're still up because they're not is in there the good chat. coffee in germany i hope so <laughs> I, bet, I bet there is i bet is. there is good coffee and in tomorrow morning they're doing the convention <gasps> wow. so uh they're going to be running so on coffee 100 percent. okay <laughs> um poll question okay. how many kids did you have come to your door last night i thought you were gonna ask something really personal like how many kids do you, do you have <laughs> i am taking uh information to pass on yes. to uh advertisers uh, yes no <laughs> yeah. um we like i said we never get kids we've never gotten kids to the door in the 13 years we've been here it is because we have a hidden door as yes. well it's not easy to Zero. find so we get none but some people get a ton still which is cool. we don't make an effort to get the kids to the door either yeah so it's a little bit of give and take. If they yes. came to the door, maybe we make an effort, but they don't mm -hmm. come to the door. So making an effort would Ooh. be a waste. Dan gets a ton. Dan uh, gets a ton. Carl, one is... Oh, you corrected Yeah, okay, yourself. there we go. So, <laughs> so the uh, answers Ooh. are one for zero, two, one through five, three, six through 15, four, 16 to 25. Nice. And five, 25 plus. If Dr. You're in Mook a, House, also lots of kids at If you're the by door. a elementary school... In a suburban in a neighborhood. Suburban neighborhood <laughs> yes. Where the houses are packed close yes. together and there's no apartment buildings that they completely mm. avoid because they can't get in. Carl G says zero, so it should be zero. Zero. <laughs> zero should be zero. Fair. The cats Fair are point. on the loose and they must be stopped. <gasps> what you. are you doing? Hey, hey you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dan. He was a bad cat. No, you're a bad kitty. You are a bad kitty. Dan alerted he's us. He's looking for Bernie, who I think is stuffed down the back of... The... Oh, he's up there. Shh, shh, don't, don't. Look oh, at him. He's looking. He's giving Cat us a time face. The kittens. Oh, that'll distract them. Perfect. Gamma <laughs> Dev is distracting the cats. Here it is. I'll get some uh, coasters that Tanya's made. All right. Put them down. There you go. All right, kitties. Did they have to go through the turnstile to be counted? Yes. <laughs> have to count them perfectly. Thank you, Gamma Dev, for the catnip. The cats will be very happy with this here, catnip. No, no, you're over no here. I should have fed him first. <laughs> uh, where's the cat cow? There it is. Cats enjoying themselves are a little bit more active than yesterday. <laughs> oh, no, they, they were, were crazy yesterday. At the beginning. But when and they then got they the sucked out. Yeah. When they got the catnip, they were just, they were done. They were yeah. already done. Yeah. 
Um, I'd say they'd be uh, uh, on a sugar crash, but they didn't have any sugar. No. <laughs> Kitten, don't they attack me. Treats. Um, no uh, mail news or feedback because we just did a show we yesterday. We did yesterday. Yep. There's nothing. Not a lot going uh, on. <laughs> so let's do an day. unboxing. Hey, let him have some. He's, he's, he's bitey. He is bitey. And stabby. Is he uh, stabby? Oh, what a bad cat. Al said, I also saw less Halloween decoration this year here in Germany. And now he's chewing a coaster. Yeah, uh, he'll be, he'll be catting it up. Yeah. So here <laughs> is the box. Ooh. Falling leaves collection. Oh, nice. Very and, nice. And uh, I'll do an unboxing on the camera since nice. it's on the cat cam already. That makes it easy. So there is the box. Very nice. And uh, there's the back, but it'll make more sense once I open it. So let's... Mm. Oh, hey, thank you, Miss Command. So we have... <laughs> Reverend Tooley manual. says, every cat takes catnip differently. One of mine takes it like a quiet glass of wine, the other like a loud beer drinker at Oktoberfest. <laughs> I think Sid would be the Oktoberfest cat. Yes. He needs some Lederhosen. He does. So here's the manual. Let me flip through it. it has pictures of the eight games, numbered from zero like a true programmer. <laughs> um, and we'll flip through quickly. Lots of, like a screenshot of each game and a little write-up that we'll be reading out as we play the games. There you go. And there's the back of it. Let's check out what else is in the box. It looks like there's lots of stuff in the box. Now, actually, this moon <gasps> is supposed to be there. So that's that's what it's supposed to look like. But I think it got unglued in transit. There you go. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And then uh, the cartridge itself. Ooh. Oh, it's so cute. It's a devil bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Devil bunny! <laughs> I think it's a devil bunny. It's got a little um, pointy, spiky tail and yeah. uh, two ears. Very 3D printed. Two little eyes. Yeah. And it's got a little. Oh my goodness. This. It's got a counter on the side of it. What is that? Uh, you can't really see it. There it is. You can count from zero to one. Oh, does that actually dictate the game? Maybe. Oh, that would be cool. Okay, so no menu. It actually goes to the game. It's a, it's physical control. It is. I like that that's old and school. That's very unique. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a click counter to dictate which game mm. you play. I've, I've seen jumpers. I've seen dip switches. <clears throat> but not that. Wow, that is very different. Oh, do not tempt fate. <laughs> He is a bad kitty. I'm poking him. 3D printed. Yes, it is 3D printed. Um, so uh, let me read a little bit about this. Actually, let me show you something. The post that Carrie did uh, today in the chat, in the uh, Atari H forums. Falling leaves at EJAG Fest. So there is a big box. And uh, that's the one I got, that style. But look at the uh, devil bunnies. <laughs> they all have different eyes, mm. different color eyes. There's the moon. But also, there's some uh, some pirate dudes <laughs> <laughs> in some of them. Nice. So uh, you, I guess you some get to pick variability. which one you like. Yeah, that's uh, so when cool. You pick it up. Um, so that's so cool. Walter Lauer, gambler, who's known as uh, Gambler172 on the Atari Age forums, and Carrie Kaxanen, uh, known as K-A-R-R-I, Carrie, uh, will release a cart with eight games at EJAG Fest mm -hmm. on uh, November 2nd, which is tomorrow, mm -hmm. which is almost today in Germany. Fair enough. It actually <laughs> is tomorrow in Germany Okay, already. yeah, it is 2 a.m. Yeah. Um, uh, the cart will be on sale for 40 euros during the event. Nice. The games are rewritten and improved from their initial releases. So you may recognize some of these. We have played some of these on the show before. So these have been updated. Uh, plus, most of the games now have Furniture, Furnace Tracker TIA based background music with uh, sound effects on top of the background music. 
Uh, all the games work on 7800 PAL and NTSC. All but the breakout style game also work on the 2600 plus. Mm. The reason is that the 2600 plus does not support paddles mm. for 7800 games. Fair enough, yeah. In the near future, I will also rewrite a few games so that everything works on single button joysticks also. So for people who have the 2600 plus and 7800 plus, but only have the one button joystick, well, most likely for the 2600 plus. Um, and Carrie's going to be doing, hosting some TIA workshops cool. at EAE Jag Fest. So if you're in Germany, make decent music. in that cool. very specific place at EJAG Fest, you can check uh, his speeches, his, his tutorials mm -hmm. um, to, uh, about to teach uh, other developers how to make decent music on a TIA. There you go. Cat fight. Yeah. Are you fighting? Yeah, he was doing something. Them fighting words. There? You little silly cat. Yeah, cats are funny. They have silent fights. Yeah. Until one of them is like, no, and I'm then done. And then they, they, they shriek. And you're like, oh, <laughs> someone's like, not happy. <laughs> yeah, not done. Yeah. Unfortunately, are you? Sid doesn't listen to Atari a lot of the time. Sid when he doesn't shrieks. listen to anyone. I no, mean. <laughs> no. Ow! <laughs> oh, he's Speaking a bad cat. Speaking of, he is sharp. Dude. So, um, two of the games cat have been daggers. updated. Yeah from the cartridge version. Okay. Since he sent me the cartridge, okay. they'll be they'll be updated for the sale version. Mm. Um, but these have been updated since because he sent this a are little while ago. Are we playing the new ones then or are we yes. playing what's okay? Yeah, we have to play new ones. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the first one is the paddle game. Not oh. many paddle games for the 7800. No. There's a bit of an issue. If I had it on cartridge, well, if, if the game that we play would be on cartridge, which I'm not playing it on cartridge because it's an updated version, okay, we'd be able to play with the paddles. If we had it but, on the cartridge. Yes, but because we're playing it from a menu system. Kids. Um, He's eating the coaster. It has an auto sense feature yeah. to tell if you have joysticks or paddles because it works with both joysticks or paddles. Mm. And the auto sense is instant. As soon as you turn on the game, so I have to start the game with a joystick mm. and then it starts the game. It auto senses immediately and it's not enough time for me to switch over to paddles. So we are going to be playing the paddle game with joysticks. It is better with paddles. So everybody that has this cartridge will be able to play with paddles. Just not me. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a bit of background there for that one. So uh, this, the music for this game, uh, Election Breakout, is uh, Yakety Sax. Everybody knows this. Oh, nice. Silly, silly song. <laughs> Arranged by Carrie. Um, so Carrie Caxon did the code for this. Uh, Bruno Stax, uh, the original idea for this. And I remember seeing Bruno Stax's uh, post about this game. And he didn't say it was a game. It was more like a test. A test run of it. Boo, I'm out of here. No paddles rip off. I know. I know. <laughs> you can get your uh, refund over there. <laughs> Um, just uh, ask Sid yeah. or Atari for your yeah. refund. Good luck with that, by the way. They will scratch your ankles. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Okay, so let's get to the game. And I will give you uh, just a number one. Cat. Please, cat. Please. <laughs> Chet. <laughs> Check with Moose or Rocco at the door. Moose or Rocco. Yeah, exactly. They'll sort you out. Nice. Let me get that volume. Is it a two-player game, did you just say? Was I not listening? Do you it see is. the two players in the I do, I do. Okay, there you go. I was not two listening. Two players. No, you weren't listening. <laughs> I, I do Psst. listen, but I also check the chat, and that <laughs> is somewhat distracting, so. Okay. I gotta get these volumes okay. under control. Okay. Hi, sir. There is no Bernie. There is no Bernie. There is no Bernie. This is not the Bernie you were looking for. Right. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Bernie. Okay, I'm on the right. Tanya's on the left. So. And we can block each other. Ugh. You're dead. Um, I don't know if there's an issue with paddles, but I kind of get stuck to you. Like, you can't pull away super quick. Really? Go over to me. Can you move? I can. No, you try and move left. No, left. Oh, there. Oh, it it's is. Kind of stuck. Get kids kind of stuck when you're stuck together. But okay, let's do this. 
So just keep that in mind. If you're up against me, you have to kind of pull away a bit beforehand. Or there's going to be trouble. I get it. That's why I missed that first one. I was, I was stuck to you. Huh. <laughs> And it is playable with one player because oh, for sure. uh, you just keep one person to the one side. Keep it on the side; they will automatically just... bounce it. Oh my god! I think you get you get stuck to the side too. I don't know if that's cats. Do you mind? So how does it determine oh who god. loses? Uh, we both lose. I know, cause the I'm the left. It's points based on points. Yeah, but I didn't lose my points. Oh, did I lose points? Yeah. If if you oh, if you bet, don't catch it on your side. I bet it's the last person. Oh See? Oh, but then you no one hit lost. it and I didn't get it back. Left wins. I won. Yeah. Okay. Because if you're the last person to hit oh, it. That was my loss, yeah. Exactly. Um, so it's very much <laughs> like uh, I was not expecting that trajectory. Tennis, volleyball, ping pong. Any other game, if you're the last person to hit it with a valid hit, and this is always a valid hit, Cat's gonna jump up there and he's gonna attack the ball. Psst! Psst! Sid! Psst! Psst. No! Bad kitty! You gotta, you gotta do better. You gotta get up to the, uh. Get up okay. to the dollars. Yes, yeah, sorry, this is a 7800 game, if I did not. Make that clear? <laughs> oh, you distracting me now. <laughs> Cats Bad cats. Him. It's 100% the cats, by the way. Yes, always. 100%. Whenever we ah! lose, right like wins. That. Okay, we'll get further. We will get further. We have to get to the money. We have to get to the orange ones. Yes, we did get at least one orange one. I think. Okay. I bet they're worth a lot. Oh, the orange. He is. Ah, yep. Big trouble in the little kitten. Bad kitties. Psst. Can you get make, down? I'm gonna, way to make an 80s movie get. reference. Is there a pause? There is no pause. No, but you can. I will. I will do my best <laughs> to keep the ball in play. <laughs> oh, oh. oh! This, this, this He's ball of fluff. He's so sweet ball and so fluff. mean at the same time. Okay. okay. He's very sweet, but also very naughty. It's not mean. It's just naughty. It's very naughty. <laughs> Guessing those are in, uh, undefeatable. Uh, undefeatable? As per usual. As per usual. Indestructible. Okay. Just like uh, other type of. Um, Unless you get a. Breakout Arkanoid type games. Um, oh my god, lasers. Hi. Are I still you haven't gonna... gotten a dollar. I know, I'm smelly. I know. We'll get there. I feel confident. There's one yellow ball left, it says in the bottom left. Yeah. Did I have some in my side, or are we sharing? Are no. We share? Oh, here we go. oh, you got a dollar. Oh, I think you got a lot of points for that. Oh, uh, I got... Yeah, maybe. Is it ten per red brick? Yeah, yeah. Ten per red brick. I think the orange might be fifty. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, and I'm gone. What? Oh, oh no. I'm gone. Is that what the blue one means? Oh, I come back. Three, two, one. Okay. You got a blue? The Is blue. You got the blue one. And I disappear. Yeah, you got the blue one. Oh, okay. So that makes it on you. So you have to get them all, which kind of makes sense. It's like I get a little bit of a break, I guess. My butt right oh. now. Get it! Ah! I w <laughs> Sorry, I was distracted. Ah, I didn't realize you disappeared. We gotta finish a level. <laughs> I know. Let me read out before we go on. Um, I was uh, paying attention to this cat that just cuddled up in my lap. He is cute. Oh, I know. Okay. Are you cute? So, election breakout. Becoming a politician is hard. In this game, you must use your briefcase to smash the ball. <laughs> Get all the money you can and try to jail your opponent. Politics around the globe seem to be divided into the <laughs> left and right, right. Oh. whatever it means. 
Uh, this game was written for paddles. It is possible to play with joysticks as well. <laughs> with a little imagination, you can hear the King Curtis doo-wop tenor sax style replicated by the ATIHM. This game is based on Bruno Steck's wonderful compiler examples. Nice. Okay. okay, let's do it. Oh, jail bars. That's what they are. You go to jail. We're hitting the blue jail bars. You go to jail, though. You go to jail. Yeah, you get a timeout. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't put your opponent in jail. It makes you not have to do anything for a while. And gives the opportunity for your other player to make a mistake. But in that time, the opponent actually gets points, right? So that so. might be the idea. It's like, oh, you go to jail, you aren't able to get any points in the time that you're in jail. But you put yourself in jail. So it's true. it's incidental in a way. <laughs> it is true. It's cool though. I like it. I yeah. like it. That is an interesting thing. Not too many games where like the other player like disappears for a while. Yeah. Through their own fault. Maybe you're supposed to avoid the blue ones? I'd have to see if you get points for the blue ones to really slip. Oh! No! I thought it was good! You ready? Yep. Oh, it went to me this time. The angles are not... Ah! You're freaking me out! Uh, I'm not good with the angles. I always... Just follow the ball. Just be under the ball. I know, I know. <laughs> Imagine how much worse this would be if I had paddles. <laughs> oh. Jittery, jittery paddles. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, we'll never make it. <laughs> <laughs> never clear board. My, uh. Can I blame the cats? No, no, no. Oh no. It's my uh, judgment of. <laughs> you move the same speed, okay, unfortunately. I'm gonna do it by ball. myself. Get Are to you? the left. Get okay. to the left. You do, you do you. See if we can make it. You can read out the chat. I, we've been missing messages. <laughs> Pro tip, it puts the briefcase under the ball. <laughs> oh, see, Tanya's been lacking that. I know. She hasn't really listened Tanya's to your pro not tip. Tanya's being the ball. <laughs> hey, you hit the ball. I know. Without even trying. And you hit it yeah, again. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna stay here and get, get see how many points I get just from existing. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. If only we could just... If only we could get money just for existing. There we go. Yeah. Don't even need my Hey, oops. don't you eat that cord. I tried to hide it, but he found it. Stop it. Scott's... Yeah, Tanya is winning with this strategy. <laughs> no. Uh, winning by not playing? There's nothing sad than you making the effort and doing worse <laughs> than when you make no effort at all. That's always bad. Always bad. What did I say? <laughs> No! You're not my real mom. No! I don't have to listen to you. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm your adoptive mom. <laughs> I'm in charge till you're 18. He's not 18 yet. No, it'll, it'll be a long while. <laughs> it'll be a while. He's seven? Come here. Eight? Come he here. Eight now? Be a good kid. He's still seven. Go over here. Oh, he's just giving me eyes. <laughs> Those naughty, naughty eyes. You can tell by his at the angle of his head when he looks at you he just stares mm -hmm. he knows he's very naughty mm -hmm. this guy's just going 100 percent on cuteness i'm cute oh, I oh no points. what's gonna happen when i get the blue you're gonna have to play am i yeah get ready All right. because i'll i'll disappear yes you will unless you actually and that is get how you lose balls this way yeah. suddenly i have to suddenly i have to jump in have to play Coming soon. <laughs> okay, play. <laughs> Don't die. Be very upset. Don't be there. Okay, get over to your side. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get ready. Go, 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 go. Oh, I didn't even see you get it. I'm not even <laughs> paying attention now. I'm looking at this cute cat. Ten points for orange bricks, same as red ones. Okay. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but be ready at any time. I know. I'm almost to the top. What did you do? <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All you have to do is not move. 
<laughs> oh, we have one less chance of doing it. You oh two more God. balls. What are you talking about? One less chance. One less. Oh, yeah. please. Oh, my goodness. All she had to do is not move. Try to get it up she there. She moved at the very last second. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect slot! Field goal! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Found the defense's weakness. Put it right where it needed to be, right? Oh, god oh, damn it. Come on, there's a big opening up there. Just get, get it. Up. Oh, what? That was 100% oh, you. I've never seen a game do that. 100% you. Bouncing off the side and doing yeah. a proper bet. Like, that's the yeah, way it's supposed it to bounce. Yeah, it was really low, yeah. But I mean, geez, so okay. it's dangerous. Get up there. Oh. Dangerous. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No. Proper physics, mm -hmm. not video game physics. It like bounced off the side of the briefcase. Oh no! Come on! Oh my God! You're, oh. <gasps> you oh, lost no. that one yourself that time. Yes, that was my fault. You'll never see the end of this game. <laughs> okay, get ready. Okay, go, go. Oh! <laughs> oh no. Well, now we know what happens if you both hit it. <laughs> Do oh. you both disappear? Yeah. Answered. Answered. Just Question got answered. answered. <laughs> what if both are in jail? Yeah. yeah. Don't get both the jail bricks at the same <laughs> yeah. time. Oh, now we know. <laughs> The more you know. What did Vitoko just say? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't listen to Vitoko. We should have. Um, oh, I really want to finish a level. Mm. Okay, let's do it once more. Okay, you stay to the side. Okay. Okay, get over there. I didn't move. You pulled me over. Hmm. I like this story. <laughs> Actually, when you move, it's almost like it takes the last Sticks movement or something. It's weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is primarily... Is half the battle, exactly. This is made for paddles, so I don't think they exactly optimized the joystick routine here. Because it's 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 funky, let's say. So I don't know if it gets stuck with the paddles. Like, hmm. With paddles, you'd be able to do absolute positioning, right? But it feels like if I'm tr I push to the right and I encounter you, yeah. when you move, I move to the right. It's almost uh, like it's it's remembering remembering the last movement, so. which probably isn't the case, but that's what it sort of no. feels like. What was that? Oh no, it did hit me. It's just really bright. So most people got zero trick or treaters. Hmm. Careful. Sixty-six percent. 66. Looks like. I am enjoying the music, by the way. <laughs> the yakety sax. Made famous by uh, Benny Hill. Where he sped up footage of him yep. and scantily clad women running around in fields. Yep. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ah, uh, the 60s. <laughs> Just silliness. Hi, what are you doing? You're being very, very silly. Okay. Hi. Getting closer, but not there yet. I have a whole 40 points, Ken, from doing <laughs> absolutely nothing. Unearned. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay, we're getting close ish. This cat wants to play. Play? Yeah, he's putting it's his ball. It's all over the joystick? It's all over the joystick. Oh, okay. That was a good one. Okay, it's coming. Get ready. Nice if you could hit for if I could, yeah, but if I hit the blue, then you're in trouble. No. If you hit the blue, that means I get to keep No, playing. but but I guess... Kay. Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh, no, it was you! Oh, I didn't even... No, it was it was you. It was me! I wonder what happens if I... Oh, no! Oh, no! No! <laughs> Two points! Oh, look. Oh, no, it's me. Okay, don't press anything. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Get over to the side. Okay, I'm back. Oh, it pops into existence. Okay. James pooched that. Because <laughs> I thought yes. I hit it. Yeah. Yeah, it was a big mess. 
<laughs> hey, get ready. Get get it get it up there. Get it up there. Oh, I'd like to, but not so simple. No, it's not. Oof, oof, what an angle. Oh, there. Oh, it's me. How Weird. did it did I hit it last? I guess. So. Or or did we interpret that wrong? You put me in jail if you hit it. I, I thought it was the opposite. Get, get, get oh, out of here. I didn't move. <laughs> I'm telling you, you dragged me. That's one of the weird things about the paddles. When they first okay. start oh, up. It's, it is you. Oh, you weird. you made me disappear this time. Oh, no. Last one. Oh, there I am. Uh, uh, okay, we're not playing another Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the ball speeds up as soon it as it hits the blue. As more of the um, bricks, I think, get hit. Hi, you're so sweet now. You were a monster a second ago. <sighs> yeah, it's tough. Stressful. It's stressful. a challenge. I don't know if yeah. it'd be easier or harder with with the paddle controls because mm. you get to um, completely control. So aren't we? We, are we, we have another game to play. There are eight games. No, but aren't we playing oh, it off of? There's the cart? two on there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the next game that we are going to play from the collection, oh. no, not that button, is Star Wars 7800. And um, let me read about it. Star Wars EJAG Fest edition 2024. Mm. Let me find it in here. Uh, the 7800 Pro system did not have a Star Wars game, so I decided to make one because I'm a lousy coder. Oh. I hacked the 7800 Xevious prototype into Star Wars 7800. You control uh, the Millennium Falcon, and your mission is to is simple. Survive. I added the known enemy ships and vehicles from Star Wars in the game. And for sure, there's a boss enemy too. Enjoy. You. Comment. Uh, this is a special EJAG Fest version with some changes. New player ship and some new enemies and a new title screen. Oh, crash and crash. I did a crash and crash, yeah. Let's just try this again. If not, we'll try the cartridge version. Like the POW block in Mario Brothers Arcade. Mm. Try it again. Okay, try it. Go. There we go. It so just... one button is fire, the other button is bomb. I believe. Oh, this is very low on the screen. This is a very low on the screen game. Very so unusual. is there a bomb? Did you mention? Uh, the second button is a bomb to bomb things on the ground. Terrible. I'm just gonna move it up just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Ah! So it's not slammed against the bottom. There we go. This is great. <laughs> uh, this game is made by Walter Lauer, Gambler172. Oh, the kitten. You. Oh, the kittens. Oh, where did Bernie go? We're having a moratorium on Bernie. Okay, he's chewing my fingers as I'm playing. <laughs> what just happened? Kitten. He's like, can I sit on you and bite your fingers? No, you cannot. So Election Breakout was by Kerry Taxanen. Uh, the code and Bruno Stex for original idea. Second button depends on difficulty switch settings. Oh, thank you, Double Down. But it is working. Second button is bomb? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. And the crosshairs are where you bomb. That little thing. Ah! Oh. Destruction. Ah. Oof! Ah. Ah, crazy. Flicker. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the <laughs> establishment. You are not behaving yourself. I'm gonna have to call Rocco. To, uh... <laughs> Rocco to the front. Rocco to the front. <laughs> we have some we bad have cats. Unwelcome patron that needs escorting from the premises. Some bad cats in the building. Great shot, kid. Don't get cocky. With all this forest area, are we on indoor? Ooh, maybe. Maybe. That would make sense. Was there any water on indoor? Was there any oceans I don't from remember. above? I don't remember, but I'm sure there probably was somewhere. Oh, this is... Oh, the AT-ATs. <laughs> nice. 
Ah, oh, so cute. I'm not doing it justice. I want to keep nice going. Nice reskin. Very nice reskin. Good number of lives, though. I like it. Oh. Like oh. It. oh. Ah! Stop <laughs> shooting. Got to bomb them to stop them from shooting. Ah! There you go. <laughs> Boom! Ah, That's uh, a lot of bullets from, oh those, my God. from the ground. Oh my God! Too many bullets! Awesome! Awesome! It's so good! Uh, I mean, Zevius is a great Maybe game. you can bomb an Ewok village. Yes. You're supposed to avoid the Ewok villages. Uh, I love the Ewoks! Radical. I never understood Ewokate. They're silly. They're oh, so they're silly. so cute! They're very cute. Yes. They're very cute. Like they were the Jar Jar of their time. They were not the Jar Jar of their <laughs> That is an insult to Ewoks everywhere. <laughs> they were the cutesy, cutesy thing. That's okay. That were added in for the kids and to sell the toys. Some would argue Baby Yoda is the same. A hundred percent. Although the, that, those storylines are much better. But, uh... <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was a kid when ROTJ came out. I love the Ewoks yep. who older people hated the Ewoks. Yeah, I I was fine with the Ewoks back then. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're Ewoks are awesome, not afraid to see it. Carl G, I agree. I was an oh Ewok God. fan. Um but That's I was quite young and really Was that 80? 80... 83. It was 77, 80, and 83 so for 10. the three of them. I was quite young, so Ewoks would have been very appealing to me. <laughs> yes. At that age. Fuzzy bears. Yeah. Cute cuddle. Although bears. to be fair, I don't think I really watched the movies until I was older. Oh. Like not when they came out. So, I yes. I kind of knew of them. I have vague recollections of Star Wars films. But right. Yeah. No, I went to all of them. My parents took me to all That's of them. Nice. Yeah. Even though I was quite young for the first one. Except Charlie says, I never understood the hate for Jar Jar, and I thought the Ewoks were cute. I was not a Jar Jar fan, but I left but I episode one with nothing but hatred at the time. Because <laughs> it was so disappointing for what I was hatred. hoping for, right? I just, so I don't know I about hatred, have, just sadness. I've never revisited episodes one, two, and three. No. Why? Pointless. I Terrible. just... I just feel like my hopes would be like maybe it got better in the time that I haven't watched it and then I'd just be d disappointed again. So, yeah. But I think it does matter a lot because you look at younger generations. They love it. Love those movies because they were kids when oh they watched God. it. And hard, the man. massive, horrible plot <laughs> issues with it me meant nothing to them at they the time. They don't care about that. Yeah. They just, they were robots so, and they space were space. Space and, and lightsabers, lightsabers and fights. So... You know, I'm not gonna hate on anyone for. No, nope, they enjoy it. That's if great. They enjoyed it. Yeah. This is not an easy. Yeah, Jar Jar's speech and the dialogue. Yeah, that was the thing. Jar Jar, it was, it was pretty awful. Embarrassing. Now it's the seven, eight, nine that are crappy. I didn't hate seven. I didn't mind seven at all, actually. Eight, nine, no. But <laughs> uh, I, I remember seeing seven and feeling quite <laughs> optimistic for what might come out of out of it. So me, so you say yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. not good. All okay, right. next one we're gonna be playing is off the cartridge. I watched some terrible movies when I was a kid, and you go back and watch them now, and you're like, oh my god, <laughs> how did I like this film? <laughs> but oh. you're a kid. Okay, so I'm gonna have to consult the guide on which number we need to pick. And it is number one. That is so cool. And I'm guessing the bunny face is away mm. because. Well, it's only gonna thread labels? one way? No. Oh, really? Not necessarily. Oh, no, that's not good. Well, that didn't go in nicely, so... Yeah. Oh, the bunny faces us. There we go. Ziptari said, I took my 10-year-old son at the time to see episode one in theaters, and he enjoyed it so much. Exactly. Like, like there's a lot of movies that you just love as a kid because of the visuals and, and like, what they're doing, and they don't care about the story elements of it, and who you can't hate on that, you know? Like, they're no. kids. I can hate on it as an adult, <laughs> but, you know. 
Pack Nestor. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kev. Hey, Kev. Uh, this Pack Nestor, this is a hack by Walter Lauer. Um, oh, actually, I have to show you guys something first that uh, is very relevant mm -hmm. for people outside of France. Um, outside of France? <laughs> yes, because they won't know what this is about. Ah, oh, gotcha. Um, so this is based off of a French cartoon or comic book. Okay. Um, and they are Nestor and Pollux. I've heard of that before. I have not. Ah. Uh, by uh, Fred Needhart from France. There we go. Yeah. I found young Anakin more annoying than Jar Jar. So this yes. is a cover of one of Nestor and Pollux. Yeah. It's a uh, cat and a mouse. The never ending struggle. So let's go back to the game and we'll read more about it. Oh. <laughs> and uh, there we go. So you can press the button. This looks pac man -y. It is. It's based off of Pac Nestor is a Ms. Pac Man hack. Nice. Um, the main character is Nestor, a little rat. Oh, rat. Okay. Nestor must collect yogurt pellets. His friend Pollux likes yogurt too. So he tries to stop Nestor. In this hack, all mazes have been changed. Oh, yeah, they are very good. Um, also, bonus objects in all in-game sequences. Pack Nestor is the only Pac-Man <laughs> game where you must enter the enemy's home to get all the pellets. Ah. Nestor and Pollux are comic characters from France. Thank you for the permission from the author Fred Needhart to use them for my hack. So they got um, Official permission. Official permission. That no. is always really nice to see. For one aspect of the game, anyway. <laughs> Maybe not the rest of the aspects. But, yeah, that is nice to see. I wonder if there had been any other video games based on those characters. Good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nostalgic says, I thought Nestor was a reference to Nestor uh, from Nintendo Power and was rather confused. They turn into triangles, <laughs> which is funny. Oh, it's like a two rows. Ah, oh, ah. oh, well... Give Don't a good know try. if I had anywhere to go. <laughs> Not at that it's point. It's cute. It's super cute. Cat, what are you doing? What are you? Luke wants to go to Toshi Station to get some power converters, but he has to go and drink his blue milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's the alternate story for this. Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> Those are all the blue milks. Nice. Hi. And then they turn into big blue milks when you eat the power. It does up the challenge, yeah, when you're having to try, try and get the middle stuff. Hi. What are you doing? Are you always trouble? I'm going to rub my face on you. Hey! Why? Ah, Why, ah. sir? Why? Come over here. Cuddle here. Why are you so bad? <laughs> I found Anakin in two and three more annoying than young Anakin in one. Mm. Yeah, he's pretty whiny. Pretty annoying. And what I really hate to hear is how badly it affected that young actor. Oh, that is terrible. Um, that there was so much hate towards him, and like he's just a kid. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, just, ah. oh, just a kid trying to do his job. I know, just acting. So it's like we hate the character, therefore bye we bye. hate you. Your turn. Yes. Yeah. Bye bye. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Whitiness is strong in the Skywalker line. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. All the way along. He's going through walls. <gasps> oh, you know what? Are they obeying the original path? Did you see that guy go through the wall? Uh, he went through a wall. Did he? Okay. I'll, I'll take He's your naughty. word for it. Um, no, whiny, no. except for Leia, who just kind of gets shit done, which I always like about <laughs> Princess Leia. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Great with a blaster. Yeah. Get stuff done. Calls it, tells it like it is. Yeah, yep. we like Leia. <laughs> I'm just going to go in here for a bit. Oh, maybe not. Oh, boy. Uh, R.I.P. Carrie Fisher. Oh, there's the fourth one. Yeah. She was great. She was. And in Family Guy, too. She was good. She was good. She just, yeah. 
Good Why overall. There's no one like Carrie Fisher. Um. Dun, dun, dun. See, it went to the wall. Pink one. Pink one went just straight across. Mm. Naughty. You gotta get that middle part. I gotta part. get that middle part. Oh, no. Yeah, you have to get it, like, right away. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, uh, run, 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 run. Ah! Yeah, Damn you it. hit the end of that wall. That's very tricky, it that is. area right it's there, which is really what's... smart, actually. A nice, a nice, uh, nice little change. change to Pac-Man. An area that's really easy to get caught in. <laughs> Yeah. Young Leia was the best part of the Obi-Wan Kenobi miniseries. Oh. Yes, I did watch that, and it didn't get the greatest reviews, but I did quite enjoy it. Mm. And and the little girl in it was fantastic, who played who played Leia. Get out, get out of there. I need... Oh, God. This is not easy. Yeah, Carl G says nostalgic degree. She was perfect. Yeah, she was really good. Maze. I wonder if I can go straight across. No. Okay, guys, get out of there. Can you guys vacate, please? No, they're like, no, 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 we're not. Oh my we're gonna God. have to die. Get out of there. <laughs> like, they're not. They're just, oh, they're. Oh, uh, God. Okay, I have to beat the first level. Bye bye. <laughs> oh. I beat the first level. Did? Yeah. Oh, well, then I definitely have to beat the first level. <laughs> I do I like think I have to really, some Miss Pac Man. I have to get a power pellet and just go to the center. Yeah, Use that's. That. But the thing is, those guys have to be out of the center because they, they reappear there. So you have to be very oh careful. God. You have to be very Come careful. Come on. Peach guy, get out of the center. Peach cat. Okay, everybody out. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm just... I can't eat them because they'll go right... Uh, no, that's right okay. Right back. They'll go they right take back. A, they take a little, a little detour. Ugh. Oh, you got it. Good. Yeah, I Good had job. to. Good job. You have right. to get it. Yeah. Right away. Get it when the getting's good. I like the uh, pyramids. I'm sure it plays into the cartoon somehow. Somehow. For us uh, people that are not familiar yeah, with, the, with the cartoon. With the cartoon comic strip. Comic. Ah! What is that? A Looks bell? like an olive. <laughs> an olive? That's a long stem know. for an olive. I don't know. How many Hollywood actor deaths bum me out? Carrie's did a oh, lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was very sad. Yeah. Okay. Destroy these pyramids. Alan Rickman as well. Yeah. 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 There are a few actors that you're like, oh, really? <laughs> Norm MacDonald. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. It's just getting into him. Yeah. <laughs> I just like just before he died, I was like watching so many videos of Norm Macdonald. Oh yeah. All of his appearances, his his show, and then then I heard and I'm like, oh my god, no! <laughs> when you no. just find someone. So I was starting to like really appreciate his um, sense of humor, uh, watching a lot of like yeah. late night appearances and. Yeah, yeah it's sad when stuff like that happens. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Especially by accident too, yeah. when you're like still. Doing okay. Mm. Well, he was, his wasn't by accident. No, he had no, cancer, he didn't had he? Cancer. Yeah. Just didn't tell anyone. That's why it seems so like abrupt, so right? Yeah. Hans Gruber, so sad. I know. Yeah. He was just such a good actor. Every role Rickman did was like gold. Ah! Oh no, what did I do? What did I do? No! They're so follow they're, Yeah. Can you go... I think if you're on one level and they're on the other, they don't kill you. Yeah, but so that's dangerous. very, very dangerous. Okay, everybody down yeah. here. Good evening, pseudo-graphics. Okay. Some arcade hacks of Miss Pac-Man don't alter the fruit's movement, so it goes right through walls. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right. Look at them. Look at them. They're, they went yes. right through the center there. And the Sheriff of Nottingham. I forgot about that. I, 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 oh, I never again, that. back in the day, really liked the Robin Hood, Kevin Cosner not doing a... British accent <laughs> version. Uh, but Alan Rickman was fantastic in that. So, mm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't get you. You're on the upper level and they're in the lower. Yeah, One more pellet. Up. They could go up at any time. Yeah. I just Come mean. on. <laughs> Come on. That's what I'm saying. Just Come get on. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. There you uh. go. Just in time. Oh, because they said these were changed. Oh. 
<laughs> Not movement, but different graphics. Is it supposed to be cheese? Maybe it's cheese. He says he's after yogurt. Blue yogurt? Oh, it's blue now. Yeah. Was it blue last time? I don't. But this the triangles you mean? Yeah. They're always blue. Okay. Well, so far. Um. A nice change of uh, the mazes being a little different. Really? Look at that. I really have to go inside their area this time. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I like the flappy lips on that. Big flappy lips. Yeah. Yeah, they just going around in circles Look, in there. Like they're they're trapped. like thumbing <laughs> their nose at you. Oh god. <sighs> it's over. And the science officer in Al Galaxy Quest. Yes. Alan Rickman. Here uh, we go. Uh, Let's move on to the next game. Uh which is Easter. Oh, I have to figure out which one it is. It is number Zero. And we have played Easter before on the show. Love that clicky thing. Which is, it's solitaire. Uh, we last played it March 29th, 2024 for uh, Easter. Uh, Carrie Caxton coding. First tune is Spanish Flea. Uh, arranged by Carrie. And second tune is Funky Afternoon by his son mm -hmm. Leo Caxonin. Nice. Done on Furnace Tracker. Okay, jump into it. Play some solitaire. What kind of display are you playing on this? Uh, we're playing on the cart off of a cartridge, so not the 7800 GD. Um, we were at the beginning playing off the 7800 GD right here. But since it's a cartridge, I have to output from the system, and it's an S video output from the system right now. Oh, it's looking, it's looking, looking, looking big. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. There we go. It's a bit better. Now you can see all of it. It was cut off a bit. Hey, Zeptari. So this game is an Easter-themed solitaire card game. Okay. Uh, for rules, check out Klondike. The 7800 has very little RAM, so I was curious to see if a solitaire game with a full deck would be possible. Animations turned out needing too much RAM, so I had to skip them. But the game itself is rather enjoyable. The music is created with Furnace Tracker with an experimental driver. There is two tunes in the game. Whenever you start a new game, the tune changes. Select button toggles between a one or three card deck draw from the pile. So you can play solitaire two ways. Uh, the one card is easier to play. Are you doing one card or three? I think it's one card. Okay. Looks like one card. The reset button abandons the game so you can start a new game. The second button is a shortcut for picking a new card from the pile. Let's see how far Tandy gets. Well, I remember playing this on the sh mm -hmm. show. And was this a theme for a game show as well? It, do, 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 yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, for sure. Like 70s. It just reminds very, me of the 70s. Very 70s. Yeah. Montezuma's Revenge demo music for the Atari 8 bit version. Oh. Hey, why do you do that? You're so silly. There's nothing up there. Such a silly cat. Oh, pretty good. Getting that five over. Still have a bunch of hidden cards, but getting there. King, nice. Get that queen over. How's the controls? 
doing fine. Yeah, yeah. they work very fine. well. Yeah, yeah, they work very well. I think this is a great. We played it last time too, and I'm like, oh, this is a great mm -hmm. uh, solitaire. Oh, nice. I covered that. Eight. Mm, three left, sir. That's what I'm looking for. Some kings. Do you mind? Oh, three, nope, jack, nope, that three, yes. It'll move on. Well, I can put it on the four or it can go up to the two. <sighs> Probably always better to go on the four because you don't have an ace yet up there. That is true. That is if you had an point. ace up there, it'd be like, no, it's fine. Match game, maybe? Yeah, it yeah. does sound right. Dating game? That sounds right, too. Well, it's a little Spanish flea. So if you type in game show, little Spanish go. flea. <gasps> nice. You might actually win. Uh, sir, see. sir. Can you just just lay down here, baby? A bad baby. <laughs> very bad baby. Bad baby cat. Ooh, got up to three and six at the top. Oh, I need another queen need or something. You need a seven. Oh, this is sucking. Red seven. I'm stuck now. Yep. There we go. I'll take you. Ooh, nice. Um, you can get that six up to the top if you want. I'll leave really it there help. for now. Oh, you can move the six to the seven. Oh, good, good. Thank you. Hopefully that's I something that very right useful. Ah, uh, queen is useful. That's useful. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, boy. Gotta get rid of that eight. The Montezuma's Revenge 40th Anniversary looks so disappointing. It's nice the game is getting revived, but the art style is not appealing at all. Oh, I haven't seen that. What system is it being released for, Nostalgia? So now it's flipping back through, which to You're me done. is cheating, but that's okay. No, no. Um, some only allow you to go through the deck once. Yeah, that's how I play it. Some so if you, you go through the deck once, and if you don't get it, you lost. That's how I've usually played it. But you can, yeah. you know, there's different variations. Yeah, you can play it easier. I just, in my harder. mind, I've already lost. So. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm, you I'm need a, a stickler for rules. You need a five <laughs> of hearts, and you need a well, ten of something. <laughs> there is a ten in there. I'm, I mean, I'm going back through them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You have won. Yeah, but because I got through the deck. The game Second is allowing time. you to do it, therefore it is a legal move. <laughs> In this version of of uh, Solitaire, whatever it is. Oh, PC, P PS4, PS5, Switch, Xbox One, Xbox X. I'll have to check out Montezuma's Revenge. I do like that original game. Oh, here we go. Oh, so close. Here it goes. Nope, there is the last piece. Does it do anything special? Does it explode? 52. Yay. And that's how you play solitaire, folks. <laughs> if I remember correctly, somebody told me this once. Yeah. Is that you can gamble playing solitaire. What you would do is you go into the gambling house and you would buy the pack of cards. Okay. And if you and you would get money back based on either how many cards you put up top, or if you oh. won, you would get more money back. Like you'd get your money back that you paid for the deck and like more money mm. on top of that. I may be mistaken though. Mm. So a uh, very good solitaire game. Here you go. We'll put in the next game. And the next one I scheduled is Drunk Witch, which we played, I think on the links. Yes, Sounds like we did. Kind of and on the 70s. <laughs> Are you a drunk witch? I am a drunk witch. Oh, not yet though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It is Friday. There is time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's game number three. I love that clicker. Uh, Zeptari says, I wasn't paying attention. What was the name of that solitaire game? Uh, it was called Easter. 
Oh, this one. Yes. Oh, jeez. It's tough. It's a tough game. Uh, you're supposed to mix drinks, and then I was mixing drinks that I know, and it wouldn't accept them, and yeah, it's very it, specific on how you mix them. If you get, put too much stuff in the drinks, it's wrong. If you put too little things in the drinks, it's wrong. Well, no, just the, the recipes weren't quite right yeah. for some of them, but it's still very There's cool. There's different ways of making drinks. It's still very I cool. I do have two I like written it. down. Okay. So we can, can we can show how to... Give a couple a try while I read things out. Cuba Libre. Well, that should just be a rum and coke. Oh, you have to make, make the drink. Oh, I thought it was a free for all. Oh, you're tr you're in trouble. Coke. Oh, hold How it do down. I do it? There you go. Good. Um, now this game is. Well, let me let me read it. Uh, this is by uh, Carrie Caxton and Walter Lauer. Walter Lauer did the drinks, and Carrie Caxton nice. did the code. I know I'm being. <laughs> the, the tune uh, Comes Love it was inspired by Ella Fitzgerald legendary performance arranged for the TIA by Carrie on Fern's Tracker this was also available on the Lynx and we last played this on the 1700 December 30th 2022 so let me read about it in the manual do you think it needs ice? that's the question if you put ice and it doesn't need ice <sighs> you get it wrong I think it needs ice okay. I would put ice in a Cuba And, and then what do you do? And you drink it by... There. You did it! You got one. Yay! Nice I mixed start. a drink! Woo! You have just started your bartender blog. Get likes and attract followers by showing <laughs> your skills. Very nice. If you only have a single button joystick, you select as button two. Nice. Uh, this game is inspired by the audiobook Yours Cruelly. Uh, Cassandra Peterson has a great sense of humor. Yeah. I really enjoyed listening to her memoirs about her role as Elvira. In this game, you're Elvira, and your job is to make drinks to keep the blog alive. Scoring. Ten followers if you manage to make the required drink. One follower if the stuff is drinkable. You may also get likes as you are such a sweet bartender. Okay. Press the button for the next one. Americano. Like a coffee? I can look it up. I know what an Americano is. It's just it's coffee and water. But It's uh, just coffee and water? Yeah. Oh, that's not alcoholic. Or, uh, what do I want to say? Um, espresso in particular and water. It is. See, I know mm. these things. But I was trying other ones and I couldn't quite get them to work. Is there espresso in here? I think there's espresso. It has absolutely no milk in it. Yeah, espresso. No. espresso. That's it. Is there espresso in here? I thought Americano had had some water in it though. Um, let's see. Uh, see espresso, espresso and hot water. Yeah. Oh, no espresso. Um, Americano could also be a mixed drink that I, I'm not aware of. Because mm. things have different names, so. Mixed drink cocktail Americano. We're looking them up as we go now. Um, Campari. Campari. And ah. vermouth. Okay. And for the sparkling version, club soda with a slice of lemon. So if you do Campari and sweet vermouth, that should be the basic one. Leave the links alone. Why are you being such a brat? Oh, you got it. Lovely. Lovely. Yay. The last one you didn't succeed on because you didn't get 10. Okay, we'll do one more. Thanks, Nostalgia 6 and Jameson. Uh, Nostalgia 26, Jameson Tart. <laughs> Tanya, my wife loves card games. Can ah. I download and try it? For this set? Yeah. Um, I believe you can just search Atari Age Forum Easter card game, and it should mm. link you to it because I believe there's a downloadable ver earlier version. Mm. Uh, thank hey, you, thank S. you Ramirez. S. Ramirez. Okay, do one more drink. I don't know what God. a godfather is. I'll look amaretto up. and something. Definitely amaretto. Psst. He's so bad. He really wants tree time. They haven't had tree. They didn't have tree time yesterday. Did you notice that? No, people were. Psst. He's chewing it. Psst. Hey, you, sir. Don't like your kind here. Chewy cats. <laughs> we don't Scotch, like your kind here. <laughs> Scotch whiskey and amaretto. Oh no, I put a lemon in. Oh, 
time out. Bad kitty. It's gonna be wrong. The cat is on time. Lovely! Out. I got it right! It oh. was supposed to have a lemon. I, that is a... Yeah! I guess that's an alternative to it. Oh, oh th thank you, B.R. Pocock, for linking it. Yep. Our cats are being weird tonight, too. Oh, excellent. So. Zeptari, uh, the link is there. Yeah. Thank you, B.R. Pocock. Okay. You want to do one more drink, or are you You good? can do one if you want, or... No? Okay. Yep, you do it for me. Mary Pickford. <laughs> okay, that is definitely, like, a... Um... I am not the person to play this game. I don't drink. So. <laughs> no, that, I don't know that, that any doesn't. Of these I don't think that's alcoholic. I think it's um. White rum. White rum, really? It's a prohibition era cocktail. Okay. But an illegal one, obviously. And pineapple juice, okay. a grenadine. I put and grenadine in. I knew there was grenadine. White rum, pineapple juice. Juice. Grenadine, maraschino liqueur. Liqueur, not cherry. It says liqueur, but if it doesn't have that, so it would just be maraschino cherry, I guess. Yeah, that's the cherries. Love it! Hey! Obviously, you play this game without cheating and looking it up. Uh, well, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know these drinks at all. <laughs> I'm learning how to mix new drinks, so there you go. Okay, so the next... Super cute, by the way. It is a cute game. I really, this... really like the, the Elvira character. I mean, the She's story lovely. behind it is really, really cute, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the next game we're going to be playing is called Merlane E-Jag Fest mm. uh, by Walter Lauer. Uh, the original Merlane was released on cartridge. Uh, March 5th, 2021 through Good Deal Games. So this one has been on cartridge, but these are all updated versions of the games. So let me see which... Dan says, no gin and juice. Snoop would be angry. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, there is gin and juice there, so you could make it. Yep. Hi, And maybe, maybe the person would like it? Possibly. I don't know if anyone wants to trigger a treat time. And e -jag Fest uh, is six. I haven't had any... I wonder what would happen if you triggered 7800. it. 7800. 7800. Yep. Playing on 7800. Oh, it says Merlane 2. Oh, what? 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 Just says it's Merlane. Okay, yes. I have incorrect information then. Mm. Uh, Merlane, Merlane e Jag Fest. So let's read about this. Should I start? It's it? treat time. Did you read yum, all that? Yay! Yum, 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 yum. Treat time! Yeah! Not it's... for bad kittens, oh, only no. for good kittens. Are you keeping Atari out? He's going to be so upset. Only for good kittens. Are you a good kitten? I don't think you I are. I don't know if they're good. Thank you, Gamadev! Thank you, Gamadev. Puss and Bats time! Let's see. Let's start it up. Yep. So, anybody who's not familiar with this, we uh, bet on how well each of the cats ring the bells so the first cat to ring 10 times wins so you can bet on one of these two cats we have sid the young, young upstart black yep. and white cat yep or atari who's been very naughty tonight mostly probably because he wants his treats so that might be a good sign so he might, might do well they have had eager. their catnip so that can either be a performance enhancer or a performance uh, restrictor so yep. it's very hard to tell here are the bells so you have to click predict at the top of your chat yeah you should have a purple button something like that at the top yeah maybe so both bells functional yeah, got to test them out. <laughs> yeah. um, and you can bet your left. stream points. You can bet as few as 10, I believe. So yep. you don't have to bet a lot. And you just put down who you you think will win and by what margin. Yes. So, um, so you'll notice it's a little imbalanced. Atari uh, is a one plus because Sid does tend to do a little bit better on this. He's quite fast. Dominates. But occasionally Atari does pull pull it out and win. Yep, yep. And then uh, the rest is uh, how much you think um, Sid might win. So either Atari 1 plus, Sid 1 to 2, Sid 3 to 4, or Sid 5 plus. Oh, it's not a sub thing. No. You should be able to bet even yep. if you're not sub subscribed. There should be a predict. A little bit. In your chat Purple, somewhere. Predict. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Somewhere at the top, bottom, left. I don't right. think it's a sub thing though. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Definitely not a but sub thing. But sometimes it the, the the 
We Symbol need, doesn't show up, so people do occasionally have some issues. With need that. to give Sid treats it. that he can't inhale. Yeah. The first couple he chews. After that, he just goes. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to get your points there in you quick, go. Atari. Oh, Zeptari found it! Yay! Yay! Get your Excellent. bet in! Woo! So we've Ooh, got it covered. Ooh, a lot for Sid five plus. Someone put a big bet on Sid. Ooh, that's pretty safe, but five plus is a tough one. Yep. Okay, the oh, prediction time is done. Okay, Can cats. I Get some treats in my hand. Are you ready, cats? Give me a second. And, uh... Oh my goodness. Oh, kittens. Cat chaos. Cat oh. chaos. Okay, guys, are you ready? Ready? Are you prepared for treat time? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would say that's a yes. Go. And oh, it's set Sid. Off to the races. Oh, there's Atari. Okay, one each. They are tied. And they're crunching. Sid crunches his first one. After that, he just inhales them. He doesn't appreciate them anymore. Doesn't save nope. them. Oh, Atari Ooh, got that one. Good one, one Atari. Sid. Next. Sid pulling up the rear. And he's now to inhale oh. mode. <laughs> Three to two for Sid. Atari's harder. Oh, harder. Oh. Oh, there Close you go. behind, 3-3. Three, three. Sid is now ahead by a pretty much a point. It's 4-3 for Sid. Sid inhaled it, and he's back for more. And he's got five points. Five to three. Atari Harder? is trying to ring Harder? it. Harder? There you go. It. Good kitty. 5-4. Sid is now two ahead of Atari, pretty much. Ooh, he might make it a five. Ooh, oh, my goodness. 7-4. He's three ahead. Did you get it? Atari, did you knock it under the couch again? And that's a problem. That is oh, a problem. Eight to four for Sid. Atari smacks it away. Five, uh, nine to four for Sid. Oh, he's almost got Atari, it. Atari, Atari, Game here, point here, now. Here, 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 take it. And it's take over. It. No, Ten it. four. Oh my God. Oh, wow. that was destroyed. Atari got, he did get it in the end, but he shoved it right under the couch. He has a problem with that. He does. Smacking it across the room. It's like he's smacking it out of Sid's way. Yes. <sighs> that is the tactic. He's trying to get it Zip away from Sid. If they buzz the wrong buzzer, do you take points away? No, no, no they're not required. Because they don't understand. Oof is correct. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. By six whiskers. Yeah, exactly. A lot of whiskers. This Kai is going to be under the couch the whole time. Oh. Right? Better find it for him. <laughs> um so let's see who won sid by five plus points and it goes to carl g Ooh, good job carl g Five thousand four hundred and sixty-three points wow. ratio of 2.73 to 1 congratulations carl Good job. You need a foam tube to block that space below the couch. I know. I he know. knocks it down there so much. Yeah. But he really doesn't need... To, he smacks it in midair, mid <laughs> which is a weird habit he has. Yeah. Like, if you throw something at him, he'll do that too. <laughs> it's like instinctual for him, unfortunately. He's a good but goalie. Yeah. He would be an Very excellent... Goalie. Excellent goalie. Yeah. Either soccer or hockey, he'd be a fantastic yeah. goalie. Very yeah. good goalie. Yeah. Okay. So I missed the first screen. Um, before you press the Oh, there button. wasn't much there. So this is the prologue here. So Okay. Yeah. <laughs> In a strange... Uh, uh, let me read uh, from here first Ooh. before we get into that. Uh, some gamers know my Merlain games. Here's a special version with a new story, especially for EJAG Fest. Merlain is some kind of point-and-click adventure. Uh, is there more to it? With some mini games inside. It is a parody, so hope you can smile. You control the game with a joystick. A wrong decision can finish the game. Mm. Goal of the game. Atari Charles is the be special guest at EJAG Fest. Nice. Unfortunately, he was beamed to the, into the realm of Game Lot. Uh, Merlain must help him find his way to reach EJAG Fest. Mm. Gotta get so, to EJAG Fest. In a strange galaxy far, far away from Earth... AG Ace, you really think you say I saved you because I like you? Bye, I only saved you because we need you as boss enemy for further alien greed games. <laughs> so now that you're safe from this troll, I will beam you back to Earth again. You must visit the EJAG Fest because <laughs> they need a special guest there. Scotty, beam this ugly guy back to Earth. Beep, beep, beep. After a short time, Octo Charles it suddenly appears in a strange world, but this is not Snail World. Little, little icons. Mm. What strange land is this? 
This stupid alien beamed me here to the wrong universe. Here is nothing I know. Nothing I really like. Only thick forests and bushes. In the distance, you hear voices. Seems there is a town or something else. There's a small track which leads to the north. Okay, I go north. Suddenly, there's a group of soldiers. Holy shit, I know one of these guys. CPU whiz is of the Royal Guards. CPU is, is an Atari Age member. Okay. Uh, who is this ugly guy? He looks like my Irish enemy, Charlie Charles. But what happened to his arms? Stop, guys. I will quick. I will kill him. Octo Charles quickly runs away and jumps behind a tree. Press up. Octo Charles is a lucky guy. CPU is, and the other soldiers did not find him. Now I know where the alien beamed me. This ugly troll is here too. Better not meet him. I need to find help. You see very small tracks leading east and to the west. All right. Do we go east or do we go west? Uh, what does the chat say? <laughs> does the chat want to, first person, to dictate? First person to say west or east will do it. Yes. I don't know how big a delay there is, but we'll see. It's anywhere from like seconds to okay. 20 seconds. Okay. West! Cesar oh, Ramirez gets right. it. So we're going up for west. You walk along the path. Too bad that you're caught by CPU Wiz. No way to escape. You give up. CPU Wiz. Finally, we meet again. Well, I could kill you, but I have better ideas. With your arms, you're so ugly. You'll be a great addition for the Royal Horror Cabinet. This is the end of Octo Charles. Oh my goodness, Bad that ended choice. fast. Okay, so go back to the choice. So down for east. East it is. Wow, I never thought this forest ends. In the distance, you see a big tower. Let me see, who lives here? There's a sign near the bell. It reads, Merlane, Royal Wizard. What now? The track leads further eastwards. So east or ring the bell. Ring the bell. So first person to say east or the ring. Bell. Yeah. Wow. A lot of, a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> James. The blah, 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 blah. It's more. It's like a choose your own adventure. It is a choose your own it's, adventure. It pretty much is. Okay. I'm going to go down. I'm, I want to ring the bell. I'm ringing the bell. Oh, oh he's too late. <laughs> Octa Charles rings a bell. A voice from inside shouts, Who dares disturb me during my beauty sleep? It's me, Atari Charles. I need your help. Why should I help you? You're not my best friend. I thought you're a great magician, but okay, I'll leave. He, you really think? Oh, okay, come in. Enter the tower or leave? Obviously, we enter the tower. We enter the tower. I'm just going ahead to do that. Wow, a dragon. Stop, Draco. Let him pass. He does not taste very well. <laughs> you walk up the huge stairs. Hello, Merlane. Please help me. I need to get rid of this damn tentacles and I need to get to this damn Ejag fest. I got, uh, oh, I got the tentacles during my fight with this damn Ollie troll. I got so excited that I muted to this ugly being. I need my sexy body back. <laughs> you, the best magician of all, you're all my only hope. Sniff, well, let me see what I can do. Let's have a look into my magic crystal ball. Press up. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of, it's, it's well words for yeah. you. So we're going to leave this. Are we? <laughs> for other people to play. Yeah, that's fair enough. Because it's a lot of words. Yeah, it is a lot yes. of words. But it's like a choose it's your own adventure. It's very cool. I like that. Yeah, I, I think it would be good for kids to be able to yeah. like read through it and play. Yeah, yeah. it's well, very there's a, cute. There's some very swear cute. words in it. But. Yeah. There are a few swear words, but. Yeah. Um, okay, next one is Adventureland. And it is number four. Oh my goodness. What, what, what? Why did it switch to the next screen all of a sudden? Not pressing anything, are you? No. I'm in a forest, obviously. See? What is happening? Mm. Oh, do you, does this re require a keyboard? No, 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 no. No. Oh. oh, well, we'll skip the first one. Um, so this is a game made by Scott Adams, not that Scott Adams, the other Scott Adams, who's a programmer. Um, Adventureland is a text adventure video game for microcomputers. It was released by Scott Adams in 1978. The game has no plot, but simply involves searching for 13 lost out of artifacts in a fantasy setting. Adventureland is controlled to the use of written commands. So, Carrie posted in the Atari Age forums on April 24th, I created a database parser for turning Scott Kit adventures into 7800 C code. The resulting C code is pretty simple and plain. Uh, might be enough for compiling a file with your CC7800. It already works on the CC65. 
So let's read about it here. Adventureland by Scott Adams is one of the first text adventures for several home computers like Atari 800, C64, and many more. He also made an enhanced version with graphics. Saga 1 Scott Adams Graphic Adventure. You're in a fantasy land searching for treasures, solving riddles, and fighting enemies. Scott was kind enough to give us permission for 7800 ports. This is a officially sanctioned port of a 1978 game. You will die often in these old adventure games. To make things easier, I implemented a walkthrough to take you through any stage in the game. Just keep pressing your select button on your console. Mm -hmm. So it'll pick the exact right thing if you press select on the console. Estimator says, I have Gambler 172, 7800 Homebrew, Merlane, and Epic Text Adventure. And I think the one you have, Estimator, is the one before the one we just played, because it said Merlain 2, which was the sequel to Merlain 1. Scream! Nothing happens. Can make him up. Oh, so there's a wondering. dragon. In many cases, mud is good. In other... I'm in a sunny meadow. Obvious exit, southeast, west. I also see a large sleeping dragon. Sometimes you have to get something to yeah. affect something else. What do we have? Go right. Go away, go window, go west. Uh, Life is peaceful there. I'm in a forest, in obvious autumn. exits. I also see trees. Large sleeping dragon again. Oh, no swimming allowed here. I'm in the shores of a lake. Oh, it's animated. Well, colored. Golden fish. <gasps> Ooh, maybe the dragon likes fish. A rusty axe. Magic word, bunion on it. Get it. Pick. No. Say. No. Pick. I'm pretty sure it's. I want to say bunion though and see oh. what happens. Yeah. Oh, there it is. The axe vibrated. Woohoo! <laughs> Vibrating axes. Maybe it'll automatically attack things. Scream. Oh, there is swim command. Ask Yard is fish. Oh, you got it. Ask Yard is so cool. I, hmm, I guess I'm showing my age. No, Ask Yard is is really cool. Um, it's actually ASCII art competitions. That's cool. That people enter in. Yeah. Um, and it's really amazing what people can got, come up with. Look, fish. Nothing's. Is a bit of an issue there with automatic. Entering it goes very quickly. Yeah, when it seems it seems like when there's a screen with a read more prompt, it automatically does it. All right, swim, so we, we went... swim, 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 okay. swim. Is there swim, a swim? swim? There is a swim. Are they it says athletic? no swimming allowed. I'm gonna get eaten if I do that. Um, uh, one hundred percent. Maybe not. Maybe it's too. Uh... Not here. No, it won't let you. Okay. Funny, funny, funny. I need this new one. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no info on whether this cartridge will be sold outside of EJAG Fest. It's on sale tomorrow for 30 Euro 40 euros. Um, I don't know if, say, he has some left over. Looked like he had six or seven done. There's a wake. I didn't realize that. Wake? Oh, wake dragon. Yeah. Oh, go to back east. east. Or west. Uh, west. Yeah. Go web. It's funny that it gives you all the commands. It's kind of good because then you can see all your options, but it's very slow to click through. Yeah, without a keyboard, that's pretty much it. Maybe if I threw something? Throw an ax. No, no, I'm not gonna throw an ax. You could say the word again. It is in alphabetical order. I don't, have anything. I don't have anything. I'm not going to throw the axe. <laughs> Wake axe. Sorry. Throw. I meant throw. <laughs> Wake up, axe. Wake up. Oh, my God. You have to do more. Uh, so throw axe at. No. In two words, tell me. Oh. Oh. Was there an at? Riveting. Riveting. <laughs> yeah. 
doesn't seem to bother him at all. Yeah. Say okay. the magic words. Just do, say the magic words. What? Unlight. Save. They could have used extinguish. <laughs> or um, snuff. Wow. Scream? Did you already do that? I already did. Yeah, because this kind of gives away a lot of what's going to happen. Yeah. So oh, this gosh. isn't working. So what will I do? Go I will south. go south. A style up BBS people remember ASCII and ANSI art? Yeah, I did. Um, I did ASCII art for my BBS. Did you? I wish I had it. So, oh, Very poor sad. Thing. Dismal Swamp. Ooh, Cypress Tree. Oily Slime. What? Patches of oily slime. What are triggers? I think they're bugs. Oh, are they? Okay. They do not exist in uh, BC, I don't think. Let me look up what they are. Berry bugs. Uh, in Britain, they're known as harvest mites. Also known as berry bugs, bush mites, red bugs, or scrub itch mites. Oh, God. Um, their larvae bite the animal host, embedding their mouth parts into the skin, causing intense irritation. Mm, usually with severe itching and dermatitis. Humans are possible hosts. Ew! Ew! <laughs> That does not sound... Nothing, nothing, nothing to examine. Uh, Get it. Oh, there's a tree. Chop the tree. Use the axe. Oh. Cut. <gasps> oh, we missed what it said. Hollow stump and remains of a felled tree. Hollow stump. Hmm. I didn't see what happened there. I know. It flashed too quick unfortunately examine stump okay we're gonna move on no no i want to examine the stump okay <laughs> you examine the stump there's something in the stump i know it it didn't say it's empty it just says it's, it's just hollow. hollow exactly why hollow is not empty there's something there all right maybe i should go to oh, the stump go to the stump maybe you can fit inside the stump they're like invisible f oh leave treasures here and then say score ah that's where you put your treasures to be safe. And it adds Oh, up I can treasure. also see an old fashioned brass lamp and water in oh. a bottle. Oh. Okay, we're going to end there. I found Made the uh, old fashioned brass lamp. There you go. Ten, you did a thing. <laughs> so the next. No, sir. Yes. Sir, sir, sir. No. <laughs> next one is Pirate's Cove, which we did play on the show. Oh. April 19th, 2022. There's also a Lynx version of Pirate's Cove. And Pirate's Cove is number five. We we made it fairly far last time. So we're just going to do it very briefly because we played this exact game. Mm. Zeptari says that was different. <laughs> yeah, it is very different to have a text game. On the oh, we played this one too. And it's another text game. Yeah. I'm in a flat in London. Flat. How British. <laughs> it's very British. Yeah. Flat means it's flat. There's no stairs. Uh, no, no, flat. flat just means an apartment. Doesn't it come from it being flat? Most apartments don't have two floors. I don't know, but it's still. I'm looking it's, it up. You might need to take stairs to get to the get to the flat. No, so. I mean within the apartment. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I'm not saying yeah. that's not. Yeah, that, that is possible. The tune is zuba I don't think so. Flats aren't necessarily one floor. Not necessarily, but most apartments no, but that I, I, I've I, ever been to are flat. A flat. One I'm floor. not sure exactly what is described as a flat either. Mm. Anyway. Uh, the tune is Zooby Zooby Zoo. <laughs> Arranged for TIA on Inference Tracker by Carrie. Um, doesn't look like a pirate's uh, pirate game, but uh, you get there pretty quickly in this game. Pirate Adventure, known as, also known as Pirate Cove, is a text adventure video game written by Scott Adams in 1979. Gameplay involved moving uh, from location to location, picking up objects, and uh, using them somewhere else to unlock puzzles. 
Um, commands took form verb, verb and noun. Climb tree. The player starts in the la uh, London flat and progresses via a bit of magic to Pirate's Island. Here the player is to build a ship to reach Treasure Island and there find two pieces of treasure. The player also has to contend with an unpredictable pirate ally. It was the first text adventure game of the Adam series which the player shared the adventure with a second character. The magic phrase to reach the island in this game is Say Yoho, which we did discover last time we played it, which was the name of the long running column in the Soft Side magazine by Scott Adams. Let's read about it in the magazine. Scott Adams, British. I'm guessing he was if he used the word flat, but I will look that up. Uh, Pirates Cove is a second adventure by Scott Adams. The goal is to find the pirate's treasure. Sounds easy? Play it. Scott also gave permission for this game. First, I'm looking up flat. <laughs> to settle this. Well, I'm just curious. I'm just guessing, though. All right. Rug. Mm. Flat, as per British English, means a set of rooms forming an individual re residence, typically on one floor. Typically. Within a larger building. Together, they also call it a block of flats. Um, it comes from the old Scottish Old English word flat, so it's not meaning flat, which means the interior of a home. There you go. So it's not necessarily flat. Just means home. Like yeah. Just the inside of a house. Interesting. Which is just self self descriptive. It's like yeah, it's it's a house. Yeah. And, uh, in Australia, they call it a unit. I think I die if I go out the window, but I'm gonna do it. I way. believe you don't immediately. Actually, no. That's where you do go to do a warp or something. Onion. Again. Yeah, that's funny. Oh. Oh, there's a window. Outside of an uh, open window on the ledge of a very tall building. I like how the bottom changes, too, to the brick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was going to look up Scott Adams. American. Interesting. Born in Florida. Miami, Florida. It's very interesting that he would make a game, one of his first games, about a flat. Um, doesn't say he moved to London at any point. Um... was his second game after Adventureland um, 1979 so yeah I don't know why he chose that just to uh, give a little bit of a international flair to the game I guess good morning Kara <laughs> Kara Kak we're just at the yeah. end <laughs> been enjoying your games thank you for sending it over Go beautiful Christ. packaging Go Crackers! Yeah. I'd try, try that. that. Go Crackers. Go do Crackers. Do, do go crackers. Alright, I'll do Go, go Crackers. <laughs> I don't understand going no. Crackers. No. Uh, yes, I hate these time zones. Yeah, it's quite a difference. It's like eight hours ahead? Is it four in the morning there? Are you up really, really early? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, yeah. But you're pretty far already. Yeah, we're on the last game. Okay, go case for the secret pass pa passageway. Oh, okay. That's what you have to do. Go passageway. Yep. Uh, I don't know how long you want to play this for, because I know we played this before. Yeah. We'll go with the We did passageway. find some issues with some of the games. Did we? Um, not with this one, but for the last one, it did auto advancing without letting us read some of the text. Mm. Um, there's some other thing, too. can't remember. Oh, I wasn't oh, able to play the... Um, 
the breakout game because it auto senses immediately whether you're using paddles or joysticks, which it's supposed to. But when I was loading off cartridge, I have to press the button to start the game on a joystick. And by the time I unplug it and plug in the paddles, it's already auto sensed that I'm using a joystick and I can't use the paddles. Yeah. But we're gonna plug in the paddles. I can't remember what the problem was, why he wanted it updated for the breakout game, but I think we'll be able to use the paddles if I use it off the cart, if the updated issue isn't like game breaking. Rum bottle smash into pieces. Did you do that? Uh, no, not in this timeline. <laughs> no, okay. Can't light the torch. Probably need a lighter. That'd be very interesting. And I wonder if there's any been uh, an adventure game. Or even a video game. Where it's a time travel game. Where you encounter your past self doing things in the game. And you have to avoid your past self. Remember that movie we saw? Uh, we watched where, um, what is it, how to, how to time travel or something? How not to time travel? And the person, the, the protagonist had to avoid themselves in the movie. And if you watched the movie through a second time, you could see them in the background. Yes. Doing things in the future of the movie. Yeah, yeah. It was so good. Um... I wonder if there's any games like that. Where there's stuff happening that you, you're not paying attention to? Yeah. Where something's happening and you don't see yourself in the game, but later on you're like, oh, there's me doing the thing before that I did earlier in the game. And in the game you have to avoid yourself like a stealth game. And if you, you're, and if you discover yourself, your past self discovers your future self, um, it's game over. Okay. That would be a super interesting very game to make. Very nuanced. Well, yes. not nuanced. Like very, yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. And it would be even better if you could do it in real time. Like you could actually see your actions that the game recorded. It would have to be an advanced game because it would have to record every single move. It would have to be like a, a newer system. Because 2600 and 7800 do not have the RAM. To record every single move that you have, that you can do. It would, there are games kind of like that where you have a shadow self, but it's usually on one screen and it's usually like stuff you did not too long ago, like the buffer is really short. You have to kind of avoid yourself or your shadow is interfering with you doing things, but not a stealth based game. How far are you? Did you get to the, the magic words to the warp yet? The magic words? Do I have to say the magic words? Yeah. I did find them. Oh no, the magic words. Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Carrie says that would be kind of hard on 4K of RAM. Sir, 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 excuse me, sir, no. Is it funny? Is it crackers? Say crackers! Go crackers! Um, Drink the rum off the floor. I have rum in, uh, in a bottle, too. Oh. What you're describing makes me think of the soccer game! Yes, that's it! That soccer game that we played that in the show, that which opposing players follow your movements from the previous level. I forget the name of it, you played it on the show. What system was that for? I think it was for the Lynx. Almost certain it was for the Lynx. And it was an entry in a contest? It was, it got hard. You're playing against your shadow self in soccer. And they just wreck you. <laughs> Yourself wrecks yourself. It's so weird to play. But it was really, really creative. Yeah, it's, it's, it would be similar to that, except it would be stealth based rather than you're actually actively playing against yourself. Yeah, this is where you say the words, right? Say yo-ho. Yo-ho, YOLO! I couldn't, I couldn't see that option earlier. There it is. 
Da da da. The colors all change. I'm in a sandy beach on a tropical isle. Obvious ex exits east. I can all see small ships keel and mass. So the game is to build the boat. Yes, that's Up right. Again. Yes, yes. So yes. what we're gonna do now is revisit the first game we played, but with paddles, Yay, paddles. from the cartridge because I can plug the paddles in yeah. and start the cartridge from scratch. So hopefully the issue is not too bad, so bad that it'd be an issue. There's actually one pretty cool game in the links who's was uh, written by Jum, I think. Let's undo this. There we go. So the paddle game is number seven. Oh, Carrie, I really love the way you put the selector on the cartridge as a yeah. clicking counter. Yeah. I have never seen that before. Where did you get the idea from? And if, have you seen anybody ever use that clicky counter thing on a cartridge? Because I have never heard of that. It's always um, dip switches or yes, yeah. um, shorting pins together. Yeah. So I don't need that anymore. Thank you. Back to the song. Okay, you'll be the same guy as last time. Okay. Hey, get out of here. Stop it! Ready? See if we're any better with paddles. Definitely doesn't stick you to the other or does it? No, it stick the other person. You can really screw up the other person. You can smoosh them in, in a corner, but then you do have to leave to get the ball, so. Um, but if they you were the last one to hit it and you smush them into a corner, they actually lose. Sure. But you share you do share um, lives. So yes. You kind of so don't want them to lose. No, you both want to get as many points as you can. It's co-op, but also competitive. But yeah. I would say this is more co-op than, than competitive. Do you think you'll do better or worse with paddles? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not great with paddles, but... <laughs> Up. up your paddle. Yep. Waking up the lube in the paddle. Oh! Fired! So close. I think it's definitely easier with the paddle. I think it is. It's slightly to, easier. The joysticks were more fine. Precise. Yeah. The joysticks were fine. I was doing okay with the joysticks. Frequent, I use paddles on games, and then by the time I get them out, I'm like, oh my god, I don't have time to fix my paddle, and I gotta play. I gotta play, and play online. I found the joystick a little slow. So, like, I was trying to get under the ball, and I couldn't get under it fast enough if I was making a decision at the last minute. <gasps> on you. Oh, I thought I, I, thought uh, I, I, wait thought I had it. Wait till I'm back. I hit the side of yours. I thought it was under it, that's all I'm saying. As soon as I leave, I die right away. <laughs> it is easier with two people at once because you essentially have double the size of the battle. Yeah. Because you do want to keep the ball in play. Yeah. Yay, go, go, go! I'm dead, I'm going to! Oh, it is jittery. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, jitters. I got the jitters. Oh, come on! I was under that. Oh. I was totally under that. There you oh, go. Oh, look at you yes. go. Watch out. Somebody's going to disappear. Pretty soon. Oh. That was you. It was me. 
the joystick speeds up when the ball speeds up. Oh, wow, two player at the same time. I love that mm -hmm. uh, about a Log 70 and game. Yeah. Tanya, make sure you hold your paddle parallel to the surface of the earth or it won't work. This is how Tanya uses paddles. That's how I use paddles. That's how, look at it. It's meant to be like this, <laughs> not like this. She used to be, she used to work in uh, commercials for video games. Yeah. Always awkwardly, awkwardly holding uh, uh, controllers. <laughs> okay, ready? What happens when the level is cleared? We don't know. <laughs> useless. No, we're not very good at Arkanite. Mm. We'll try our best. We'll try again. We did better than with joysticks, so I think we are better with paddles. Yeah, I agree. So, wobbly! That does not help. Wobbliness does not help our case. Over there. Why don't you get on your side? <laughs> huh? You get on huh? your side. You get on your side. Go! Oh my god, freaking out. <laughs> oh, right through the Sorry, it it looks like you're right under it. No! <laughs> Twice now. Let it sneak through. Oh, it's so <laughs> close though. I always find the angles hard. Like getting getting the exact positioning of where it will be. Yeah. The, music's making fun of us. the what? The music is making fun of us. Yeah, that's why it's light. <laughs> Yakety sax. Get over. Get the ball. Why are you pushing me over? Because you were not close to the ball. I was. You're in my way. If you push against me and I let go, you'll push me over. That's how <laughs> oh, it works. Really? Yes. I can force you over? Well, I have to push back at, on you. <laughs> Do you not get that? No. You're, you're pushing me over unless I'm pushing back. Hmm. Really? See? You oh, wow. That. So you let go and it went bloop. Yeah. It hit my paddle and bounced to the right. <laughs> How did it bounce to the right? Uh-huh. It's because it hit me. Uh-huh. And it says, oh, I have to change direction. Uh-huh. Hey, what are you doing? You didn't even pay oh, my attention. hand wasn't on it. Oh, Pressing goodness. the button. Oh, now we have zero. It's your fault. No. Nah. Not paying attention. Trying to argue. <laughs> what is this? A court of law? I don't think so. Spray, blame the LCD lag. No, yeah. there's no lag. Zero lag upscaler. I'm gone. Oh, and you died. Jitter. Still won. I still won. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the bounce direction depends on whose paddle it is. Yes, yeah. yeah. Versus CRT, there's absolutely lag. Yeah. Well, not noticeable, let's say. I move, it's instant. Like, so instant. So push up against me. Can you push me? Nope. Okay. I push and then push, push, push. Nothing. Okay, so if I'm pushing and you're pushing and then you let go, it's because it's absolute positioning. So if yeah. you're positioning yourself, like push against to the me, right, push against me. Don't let go. I'm pushing all the way to the left. I'm not touching anything. Now you move to the left. It'll let me now move to the yeah, left. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. It yeah. kind of holds that. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Very cool. And with that, we are completed. So this goes on sale. Watch that cat. He's just chewing. I know. So bad. This goes on sale at the EJAG Fest 2024 near Dusseldorf. Nice. Um, in <laughs> Germany. Yes. Because I can't pronounce the actual name of the town. Yeah. Um, uh, for 40 euros if you're in the area or at DJ Fest, we've ran through all the game in four hours. There we go. Yay! Position, yes, is absolute. <laughs> um, so if you enjoyed any of these games, uh, they are all updated versions if you have played them before, because some of them uh, were available in different forms before, but this is a completely updated version of the games. Mm. 
and it's very cute. Let me show you the cartridge again. And what is this, Carrie? <laughs> we we thought it was a uh, devil, de devil, devil bunny. bunny. Yeah. Um, is it a devil bunny? <laughs> it kind of looks like a devil bunny. Nom, 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 nom. Eat the kitties. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. I think it's a devil bunny. Um, Sid's just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I don't care about devil bunnies. Like a uh, real bunny, yes. And it's got a very unique system of very cute. picking which game. It's, it's a dragon! A... Dragon! Nice. Arr. I see the dragon. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, very nice. Yeah. Um, Dust bunny says Tarmy. Dust bunny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, kitties. Calm now. He is oh my goodness. very calm right now. Um, so thanks for hanging Hi. out with us. Hi, we've got our own dragon here. Yes. Rawr. Yeah. Rawr. Yes. Kitten dragon. Yes. We yes, we saw the pirate we carts. We showed off the pirate carts. So, oh, poll um, results I, too. I guess you get it. Uh, the polls are gone. Oh. Uh, long gone. Yeah. Um, I did read them out. 66% of people had no trick-or-treaters. Oh, no. And then it was kind of even between all the other ones. Uh so I guess, Carrie, at the uh, show, you get to pick which cart you want, whether it's a, a pirate Whatever's cart left. Yes. or a bunny Hi. slash dragon, <laughs> devil bunny slash dragon. Yeah. Oh, you're so lucky. Um, so let's see what's coming up on the show. Mm -hmm. um, on the next show, on Tuesday, we're going to be playing the ABBUC 2024 contest nice. entries. Nice, nice, there nice, nice. There are some nice. good ones there. These good, are all good. for the Atari 8-bit system. Um, and then we're going to have a ColecoVision special on the Friday <laughs> with Donkey Kong Jr. and Time Pilot. Possibly mm -hmm. others, but at least those two. So we just got those from Opcode Games. Very eager to play that, mm -hmm. especially Time Pilot. Oh my God, I love Time Pilot. Mm. Played on like, on many systems. It's always fun. Uh, the design is Walter's. Adventure has dragons too. Yes. Um, and a whole bunch of stuff coming up that has not been scheduled yet, but always a fun time. Who knows what's coming up as well. I'll be scheduling some more games in there of some that have been done and the end of the year is coming up. You know what that means? The Atari Homebrew Awards are coming <laughs> up. Oh my goodness. In and then all February. the work. February. All, all the work. The work. <laughs> well, the work starts very soon, in yeah. fact. Nice. Uh, play them on Phoenix in more colors, but without the flicker, mm -hmm. do the F18A functionality. Ooh. Well, I'll get out the Phoenix and the ColecoVision, maybe, and I'll show them both off at that same time. Um, yeah, so I have to uh, start getting things together. Always, the lists are already made. I keep them throughout the year, because I found that's way easier than collecting them all at the end. But this year, uh, we have the Atari ST to give awards to oh, as well. Oh, yes, yes. It's, so those are new categories. That's the categories. first year of Atari nice. ST. I like that. Yes. Yeah. Do not say the end of year is coming soon. It's too soon to yeah. think. Of. We're not quite there yet, Nostalgic. We still got a good couple of months. It's November. I know, but it's I'm sorry two months. To say. Two months. There's still two months. It is months. two months. But then it's There's another month and a half before the Atari. A sixth Homebrew of the year awards. left. So don't think of it in those terms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A sixth Lots of, the of year. time left. Lots of time to put up your Christmas tree. Yes. Yes. So on Tuesday, we will be competing, or will we? Let's see, what day is Monday? Tuesday, we're competing against the elections. <laughs> so this will oh, be a nice I distraction see. from the elections. A palate cleanser, shall we say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And we're, yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. The 5th. It's the ABBUC. That is the wrong day to do those on. What? The I should be doing it on the Friday, actually. We'll flip them around and we'll do something else on Election Day? Yes, because okay. Friday is when people from Europe can watch. And if I put it on Tuesday, nobody from Europe That's can true. watch. And they're That's all true. from Europe. So, uh, yeah. You are not won't be competing. I'd rather watch this show. <laughs> Thank you, Nostalgic. <laughs> Thank you. We will find something. Something else. So I'll push can that to the 8th. We we Friday. need to do the um uh, that Yahtzee game again and have people join us uh, at some point in time too. Stop banging. 
as uh, my hands. Yes. Yeah, stop it, yeah. please. <laughs> um, um, yeah, maybe I can do that. Yeah. Uh, do some online gaming. Atari 8-bit online gaming, because I yeah. have that schedule. That would be fun. Not scheduled, but I have it in reserve. And then if you truly want a distraction from the election, you can join you can us play. in playing the game with us. So oh, That's a good idea. Yeah. So we're going to play uh, right here. Fujinet Fuji online. online gaming. 8-bit slicks, 5-card stud, reversey, warships. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have an online gaming session Distract. on Tuesday. Distract. Yes. Distract people from all the complicated and, and they the never world. get it counted in time anyway. It goes well into the night. Oh, and I then know. there's I know. uncounted and disputed and it goes for weeks and months. Yep. And so it really doesn't matter. So we're announcing it now. We're going to do some online gaming. I think so. All right. I'll make That's sure gonna be really everything's fun. in line and I can do it properly. And, and announce it so everyone knows. Yes. They can have their computers up and running. Oh, no problem, Carrie. Their Fuji uh, Check, check through the... It's going to be a S show. Yes, it oh, is. Oh, yeah. that's okay. Of course it is. Yeah, have a good have is. a good time yeah. um, at uh, JAGFest. Yes, have a great time at um, uh, JAGFest. And um, uh, yeah, I hope all, you sell all of your carts. I hope I'm people are sure very excited to see them. Lots so. of fun games yeah. on there. Um, thanks for tuning in, yeah. everybody, on this Friday evening. Uh, Pseudographics, it's Kev Zep. Sorry, Karakak, thank you for joining yep. us. Awesome. Thank you so much again for sending this over. So awesome. It's a super cute, <laughs> super cute dragon. Yes. <laughs> um, and a great pack of games. Um, nostalgic, uh, Double Down, Vitoko. Uh, <gasps> hey, pss, hey, pss, pss, pss. you out, out. Bad cats. Such bad cats. No shout outs to bad cats. No. <laughs> BR Pocock, Polygox, S. Ramirez, Crypto Coffee, uh, Dan ABC, uh, who else? Mother 3 yeah. in there. Miss Command. Missed that. Hi, oh, Miss Command. Command. Uh, Miss Command subscribed at the top oh, of the show. Yes. Okay, yep. there we go. Yep, yep, yep. So Toco in there. Did you say Gamma Dev? Oh, Carl G. Yep. And that's the top. I think that's of it. The chat. Yay! Perhaps you also join in some year. Yes. I would love to go. We, we would want have to go to, to Germany. We do actually, and I have yeah. In November. Yeah. Well, it probably wouldn't be in November. Oh, I would love that, but I don't know when Germany has all its Christmas markets. I'd love to go to Christmas markets. That might be a little later, though. Sir, you are a right terror tonight. <laughs> Oh my God, that cat! We we'll work it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, um, yeah. We we are planning on going to Germany at some point. At some point, and a yes. bunch of European countries. Yes. Um, November. Mm. I could do November. Mm. I could do it. James is not so <laughs> so mm. keen. I like He's, it warmer. Yeah. Not the which is ironic, being that we're in Canada. Not but, at the height uh, of. We're in Vancouver. Yeah. That's very different. <laughs> it is Vancouver very is different from the cats Canada. Are on the loose and they must be stopped. Yes. Bad yes. cats. They're very bad, bad cats. cats. <laughs> Thank you, Bear Bogok. They are bad cats. Um, but we'll be back on uh, Tuesday, probably with some online 8-bit gaming. That'd be fun. Yes. Yeah, that would right. be fun. Okay. All right. So Bye, have a good guys. night. Have don't, a great weekend. Don't eat too much Chocolates? Candy. Uh, they've already done that. All of it. All oh, the my chocolate's goodness. gone now. You ate too so. many chocolates. <laughs> yeah. 15 degrees Celsius. Now, see, that's, that's not bad. That's about that's here. It's pretty for similar. Daytime. We're yeah. a little colder now, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye bye.